In the world of a small animal veterinary medicine, hip dysplasia is considered the mother of all orthopedic diseases. It's very common in large dogs, relatively common in the smaller dogs, and it's even seen in cats. Hip dysplasia is a genetic disease in pets. Hip dysplasia is when the femoral head, the ball point of the femur, and the acetabulum, the pelvis's hip socket, align poorly and are unable to provide a smooth movement, a pet requires for a lifetime of weight bearing and normal wear and tear. Hip dysplasia is painful and expensive to treat, and one or both hips may be involved. What are the signs of hip dysplasia? The problem with hip dysplasia is that it's not always obvious that your pet has it. Some pets will show signs as early as four months of age, while others surprise us with symptoms that appear only when they reach middle age or even later. Limping is the most obvious sign of hip dysplasia, but it's not always present. Loss of muscle mass in one or both thighs, reluctance to jump or climbing the stairs, a funny way of walking like bunny hopping, or a slowness in rising can also signal the presence of hip dysplasia. Diagnosis a standard X-rays are the obvious way to identify the problem once signs occur. But other methods such as pen hip method are now widely available to help predict the likelihood that dogs will be affected by hip dysplasia. Most clients are unaware of their pet's hip status, especially when pain is not yet obvious to them. That's because dogs don't display pain the same way we humans do. Whining and complaining is just not in their nature, but observant veterinarians will know it's there even before limping and other obvious signs are present. What is the treatment of hip dysplasia? Sadly, most of the treatments are surgical. Consult your local, board-certified veterinary surgeon. Beyond surgery, a lifetime of pain-relieving medications and supplements has a way of adding up. Glucosamine and fatty acids are commonly recommended dietary supplements for all pets with any kind of joint disease. They work to protect the cartilage in the joint. Pet-specific anti-inflammatory medications like carprofen and meloxicam may also be prescribed. As an adjunct to these, human opiates like tramadol may be in order. Prevention Breeders should not breed any dogs who suffer even mild form of this disease, as the genetic transmission of severe forms can occur even through mildly affected parents. For those of you who intend to purchase dog breeds affected by hip dysplasia, you should request pen hip certification of parents.